Hello? It's me. I want to feel your milk of pain. Oh no. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and you're watching No Code Tech, where we teach you the ins and outs of the No Code space. In this video, I am doing my own self an active circuit. This is five things no one ever told me about the No Code space, so let's get to it. Number one, and probably one of the biggest misconceptions for No Code beginners is that not every mobile app builder is going to build a native app. If you take two seconds to search for the word no code in the internet, you are gonna see an overwhelming amount of no code app builders, no code app builders everywhere. You know, people just love to build apps and they want to build apps, but this doesn't necessarily mean native apps. If you are a total beginner and you have no previous tech experience, your definition of app is probably going to be something like an Airbnb kind of app because of the features and just kind of the interaction you have with, with the app because of you can use a GPS and a camera and all that kind of stuff. But this doesn't necessarily mean that the app builder that you choose will be able to do so. A native app is one that is built for a specific platform such as iPhone or Android using their code libraries and accessing their available hardware features like a camera or a GPS. A web-based app, on the other hand, is one that is hosted on the web and accessed from a browser on the mobile device. So our recommendation, make sure that you choose app builders that are specifically designed for this, like Adalo or Glide. You know, if you end up choosing an app builder because it's the rave of the internet at the moment or just some very good marketing, there is a lot of those out there, you might end up wasting a lot of valuable time. So, you know, it's something to take into account when choosing the app builder for your project. Number two, and this ties in with point number one, no one ever told me that you know, every single tool has its unique limitations and you will find about these when you're building your project. You know, there will be things that you'll find out that you can do and you'll be like, woohoo, this is amazing. And then there will be things that you'll be like, oh no, I have to start again, look for something else or just, it's not, it's not gonna work. It's your project and you need to know what it is that you want to build and what you need to do so. For example, a tool like Adalo might let you show a map to your users by fixing different pinpoints on a map, but it won't actually let you use a GPS on the map. In this case, you might decide that Adalo is not the tool for you or that a GPS is not 100% necessary for what you want to build, or you might find a different way to do so. We actually created an Uber clone with uh, using Adalo that you can check out on the right-hand corner if you want. Our best recommendation is do your homework. Make sure that you know what you're trying to build and what you need to do so. You can do your homework on Nokia no Tech if that's what you want and see what tools are available for any specific use case that you need. Number three, no one tells you that no code is still coding. Now, what I mean with this is that no code is a visual, less technical version of programming. And like anything in life, it's got its own logic and rules in order to work. Ted Nelson once said that the good thing about computers is that they do exactly what you tell them to do. The bad thing is that they do exactly what you tell them to do. In other words, you need to think about every little decision your app will make. You have to think about all the ways a user could interact with your app, and you even have to think about what a bad or malicious user might do to try and deliberately mess with your app and make it do things it shouldn't do. The app cannot figure this out for you, so you have to tell it what to do in every single occasion, and this can get complicated fast. Now, with this, I'm not saying you have to go away and do a degree in computing science. In fact, just learning the no-code fundamentals will take you a long way in learning how to build anything with no-code. So, do you want to become a pro? Learn about databases, workflows, APIs, UI, UX. This will not only teach you how to learn no code tools quicker, but it will teach you how to build anything that you want and even find creative solutions to do so. These concepts might seem very scary, but they're actually very easy once you try them out. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to check out our free online course where we teach all about the no code fundamentals. So number four, no one tells you how in demand no code skills are. The rise in digital transformation is not new to anyone. 
unless they've been living under a rock. And this means finding solutions to problems that in the past took a lot of time and money to solve. This also means there is a digital skills gap in the workforce, especially in the no-code space. And no-coders are commanding high rates very fast in order to fulfill a need that programmers do not have enough time to solve. So if you want to earn some good money and you are looking to work in different projects, then becoming no-code literate is the best way to do so. So how do you find this work? I recommend looking at no-code talent marketplaces like Codemap or Heap. They're a little bit like Upwork or Fiverr where you will get matched with companies and agencies that want to pay you for your work. So have a look in those marketplaces and you will be outstanding at the rates and the different projects and different you know kinds of no-code skills that people are looking for and that you're probably looking for yourself. So last but not least, number five and probably the one that took me the longest to associate with the word no code and it's that it's not just for building products you know people have this misconception that no code tools are just to build apps or they're to build businesses per se as a whole but they're actually tools that you're going to be using in your business in your day-to-day -day life for pretty much anything so yeah you heard that right there are just so many tools out there that you can use for any problem or anything that you might need it's really a revolution it means any computer task which could previously only be done by professionals can now be done with just your laptop a noco tool and a spare afternoon so this includes pretty much anything that you can think of design sending emails marketing, team collaboration, automation, you name it. There are so many out there. All these tools will enable you to create solutions but without ever having to learn how to code. To our tools directory, you will find in our categories page the endless list of tools that can be applied to any use case. So now do you know my top five things that no one ever told me about no code? I want to know yours. You know, I want to feel your no code pain. Like I'm not alone in this. Surely, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> So leave your top five below. Make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps us to keep creating content like this. Until next time. Adios.